Now, Chesney, I'd just like you to go over what happened in the shop in a little bit more detail. When Mrs. Sullivan touched you, she gave you a cuff, didn't she? She hit me. She hit me dead hard. It really hurt. And after that blow, you don't remember anything until you came to in the hospital? No. I want to be totally clear. After the cuff, you don't remember anything? No. So if you don't remember anything after the cuff, you can't possibly know that it was that cuff that forced you to trip and fall over? Uh, no. Thank you, Chesney. Now, let's move on to talk about what happened in the hospital. You say... No. Th no, just a sec. It's wrong, is it? I've got that bit wrong. What have you got wrong, Chesney? I do remember something else. And what would that be? The shelves. You remember banging yourself on the shelves, do you? Yeah. Thank you. Now, let's get back to when you woke up in the hospital. No. No, I... I remember a belt in me. It were her what slammed me against the shelves. Thank you, Chesney. That will be all. Well, I'd never say the lad were an angel. I've had to bring him up on my own, and he's a normal lad. Bit of a handful. I mean, they all are at that age, aren't they? Or they should be. Kicking a ball about, making a bit of noise. That's how he was, bless him. Now, since this happened, I don't recognise him. He's stuck in all day, scared to go out. Can't remember anything for five minutes, just sits watching telly. And how is your boy physically? Oh, it's really embarrassing, is this? I've got a nine-year-old who wets the bed. I thought I'd live through all that. Thank you. Dear, it'll be all right, Emily. Miss Mirrison? No questions, sir. Mrs. Sullivan, you own and run... Hey, you were brill of... Fair no, brought water to me eyes. <laughs> Shameful performance. Let's see if your boss is any better, shall we? I am. Mrs. Sullivan, can I ask you, how long have you run the cabin? Just over 30 years. And in all those 30 years, have you any idea how many children have passed through your doors? Oh, I couldn't possibly count. <laughs> thousands and thousands. And how have you felt towards them? They've been my best customers. Oh, I don't mean in pounds and pennies, obviously, but in the pleasure they've given me. And have you ever experienced problems like this before? No, never. Oh, I'm not trying to paint a picture that they're all little angels, because you're bound to get a bit of back chat from time to time. It's all part of growing up, isn't it? I don't mind. It keeps me on my toes. And I like to think that I give as good as I get. It's a laugh, and I think they enjoy that as much as I do. I've never denied that. So we're quite clear then. You admit to striking the boy. I give him a little clip. That was all, and that was because I'd caught him I in the... I didn't ask you what the justification for the blow was. There really is no justification for striking a minor. Unless, of course, you're claiming it was in self-defence. Are you? No, of course not. So you struck him. And the blow was of such an intensity that it hurtled the boy into a collision with some shelving. No, that's not what happened. After I'd clipped him, he ran off and he tripped and fell, banging his head on the shelves. I'm sorry, what are you saying? That the shelf incident was not a consequence of your blow? Yes. No. No, it wasn't. The boy just tripped and fell as he was running away. Are you implying that the boy has fabricated this whole tale? No, I don't know. So are you saying that he left your shop after a mild tap and within hours was medically diagnosed with extreme symptoms? Can you explain why they were so severe? I don't have any idea. Perhaps that's not surprising. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me. What did you mean by that? that you cannot come up with an alternative explanation of how this boy received his injuries. Oh, yes, I can. Easily. It's all a pack of lies. Lies? What do you mean by that, Mrs. Sullivan? Are you suggesting 
that the mother and nine-year-old boy who you admit to having struck are not telling the truth about what happened? I am. No further questions. Thank you. We'll adjourn the court whilst we arrive at our verdict. Your Worships, may I request bail for my client? Bail is granted, but I really don't feel we'll be very long in coming to our verdict. All rise. Come on, love. Let's check out Chesney. It's all right. They said they'd keep him amused. Got time for a quick one. That's where they're going, isn't it? Mind your feet, Norris. I they're not going to be very long, but you don't have to stay here, Mrs. Sullivan. Just as long as you don't leave the building. I'll stay put. Entirely up to you. Excuse me. What do you think they'll decide? Impossible to say. How are you, Rita? Well, what do you think? I'm sure the magistrates can see exactly what's happening. Of course they can. They're used to picking out liars before they've even opened their mouths. And you just need to have one look at that mother and child to know. Are you really sure? Look, don't you worry. They're never going to believe the word of them against you. Never. Well, we'll know soon enough. <laughs>